In this video, I'm going over section 8.4, example number 4, achieving a financial goal. And we're going to use this equation. We want to know the amount we need to deposit each month, which is P, the deposit, that's going to be made at the end of each compounding period. A is the amount of money we need at the end, R is rate, and N is the number of times per year the interest will be compounded and the deposit will be made. And T is the number of years we have. In this problem, for example 4, we want to have $20,000 in 5 years. And we're going to be earning 6% interest and we're going to be compounding monthly. So this means A is equal to 20,000, T is equal to 5, R is equal to 0 0.06, and N is equal to 12. So our equation becomes P equals 20,000 times 0 0.06 divided by 12 divided by parentheses, another parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, all raised to the 12 times 5 power, and we're going to subtract 1 from that. All right, let's show us using the calculator for this. And I like to start with the denominator. So I'm going to start 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. And I'm going to hit enter because that gives me what's in parentheses. Now I'm going to raise that to the, and I'm going to use parentheses because it's 12 times 5. If I don't use parentheses, I'm not going to get the right answer. I'm going to hit enter again. Now I'm going to take that answer and subtract 1 from it. I just hit subtract 1 because that takes the previous answer and takes 1 away from that. All right, now I'm going to look at the numerator. The numerator is 20,000 times 0 0.06 divided by 12. Okay, now I'm going to divide that by that 0 0.348850. Notice I'm using all the decimals that the answer gave me. I'm just going to make it as accurate as possible. I probably didn't need to type all those in, but it, there's no harm done in doing that. And then I get an answer of $286.66. Well, anytime we do this, we always want to make sure we round up because we want to make sure we always get enough money by the end. So I'm going to make this $287. And if I do that, I am sure I will have enough money in five years so I have $20,000 saved. The next part of the question says, how much of the $20,000 down to payment comes from deposits and how much from, comes from interest? Well, if I put away $287 per month for five years, that's 287 times 12 times 5, which works out to be $17,220. Well, if my deposit was $20,000, that means 200 i'm sorry 2780 dollars of that was from interest on my deposits i put aside 17220 dollars and in 5 years i do have 20000 available for my down payment